Welcome to the Arsenal Channel. Today we're going to be talking about the legendary Generation 2 focused uh, skin and item for the legendary armory, the Binding of Epos. And to do that, we're going to be on the, the wiki page, which is the best place to do to start any w legendary journey. It's to be here so you can see all the entails. And this one entails quite a bit, just like most legendaries. You look at this list, you might be a little bit daunted, you might be overwhelmed, but it's really not that bad. It's four basic components that are broken down into 13 smaller parts. So, the first one is the Mystic Tribute, and it's got four parts, and those parts are the Gifts of Condensed Magic, the Gift of Condensed Might, 77 Mystic Clovers, and 250 Mystic Coins. Now remember, you can make Clovers out of coins if you don't have enough, but you always have to remember to leave yourself 250 Mystic Coins at the end of that. Now, if you are on a new account, this is my alternate account, you will have to buy the gifts required for the, for the Mystic Tribute. You'll have to buy eight of these gifts, and they'll cost you 80 gold, okay? So be prepared for that. That's a one-time cost. Any other legendaries you make after this, you'll never have to buy them again. You take those eight recipes, though, that you buy, and you take them into, like, a, a, a workstation that you can work it on. Type in gifts of. It'll tell you which one. I think it's all the weapon ones. And, uh, yeah, you make them. And then you take those, the, the resulting eight gifts, and you take them to the Mystic Forge. You take the first four that match together. You put them in there. You get a gift of condensed magic. You take the other four that are left, and you get yourself a gift of condensed might. And then you take those two those gifts and the 250 mystic coins and the clovers, and you try to make, but you actually need two. You need two gifts of condensed might and condensed magic. Don't forget, you need two, like I did. I forgot. So we go back, and we need some more. And actually, I need more tier, tier 5 mats because I ran out. Because recently, I made a bunch of legendary runes, if you've seen recently. So I didn't have the mats. So I had to go buy them. Three gold, three and a half gold, basically, for a stack. Three and a half gold for a stack of the bones. Uh, a little bit less for the claws. Claws are cheaper, okay. Uh, piles, of, that's a little bit cheaper. And then we've got uh, our fangs. That one's a lot cheaper uh, for a stack. Then large scales, not too bad. Venom sacks, pretty cheap. And then uh, totems is pretty expensive. Okay, there you go. And then also I needed engraved totems. I needed the level 4 mat because I ran out of that too. And wow, is it expensive if you, if you want to buy a stack of that. So just buy what you need because those, those tier 4 mats are expensive. All right, so get, go get them at, the, at the, uh, the Black Lion place. Bring them back to your, to your crafting place and we'll make them again. Here we go. We're very fast. Okay, now we put them all back in there. We get that condensed might again. And we get that condensed magic. And now we've got the four that we needed before. So now we've got two of each. Bing and bing. We got our 250 mystic coins, our, our 77 mystic clovers. And we throw them in there. And we get our mystic tribute. It is achieved. It is in our bank. Bam! All right. Now we move on. Now we go to, to Grandmaster Craftsman Hobbs, who's going to sell us the recipes we need for our particular legendary. Now this is a generation two, so we're gonna go to tab number five. Not four, we're gonna go to five, there it is. And we're gonna look for the, the prerequisite, the uh, the precursor, the first one. The mark of the unnamed is, is the one that matches up to my legendary. So I'm gonna get that, bam. We're making focus, so that's the one we use. We click on it, foom, there we go. Now we know it, it the knowledge is within us. Now we're gonna go back to the wiki. Look down here at the bottom. What did we also unlock? We also said, it also says the shards of the dark arts and the mystic curio recipes are contained within. So we've now, we know that stuff now. So if this is your first legendary, you know how to make mystic curios now. So we're going to make those mystic curios. And we're going to go down here and we need to make them the mark of the unnamed. This is the first precursor. It needs these shards of dark arts, 30 of them. You need, you need those mystic curios to make that. The true name is the second precursor. It needs 60 of these shards of the dark arts. Okay? The final precursor, the third one, the ultimate one, it also needs 100 shards of dark arts. Okay? And then, if you remember back here at the Gift of Epos, we need another 100 shards of the dark arts. Okay? So in all, we need 290 shards of the dark arts, which we get by making Mystic Curios. So now we're going to have to gather our mats. Now I've got characters out there that I store my mats on. This one right here, this is where I store my mithril, okay? So I've made making stacks and stacks of mithril. So let's put those in the bank, okay? Then I'll go to my other character that's got my, my uh, elder wood planks, and we'll put that in the bank. Then we'll come out here. I've also gone to the trading post, and I bought the two cheapest that I could find 
for uh, the tier five mats because you need tier five mats to make Mystic Curios with, uh, but it'll take any of them. So it's got all these recipes here. And I started making out of claws and then I shifted and made them out of the, the venom sacks. So, and, and at the end of this, I had some left over because I did the math wrong. But I just, I, I kept some of it and I sold the rest back that I didn't need. And, and you know, people were happy to buy it. Now, I went to Istin here, because and, and you can go to any of the Living World maps and, and use any currency, and you can go to some of the Heart of Thorns maps and Path of Fire maps, but I went here because I think it's the easiest place. And I like I have tons of volatile magic. That's the most currency. This is the easiest one for me to do. And I need these Tribute of the Dark Arts. And I need 290 of them. I'm gonna buy 291 of them though, because I like to have one extra. I like to have one extra for a memento. So 2,910 volatile magic, easy peasy. It's not going to hurt me that much. That's that's the Find the currency that works best for you and go to one of the living world maps or something and get it. Now, come back here. Mark of the Unnamed. We'll type it in. There it is. There's our precursor. We need the 30 shards. We're going to go ahead and make all 291 right now of, of these shards that we can make. It's going to eat up all of those mithril ingots. It's going to eat up all those wood planks. It's going to eat up all of our tributes. But here we go. We don't need them anymore after this. There they go. Now, we're going to go and make our oiled ancient focus casing. Boop. We're going to go in and make our oiled ancient focus core. And that's done. You know, need a lot of linseed oil for that, so make sure you have a supply of that. Go farm some flax. Now, we also have sheets of rough paper here. Now, I could go to my uh, scribe and make sheets of rough paper, but I'm too lazy to do that. Uh, sometimes you have to think about how much the cost of your time is. So I'm going to go to the to the trading post. And I'm just going to buy six sheets for a couple silver. Buy it instantly. Just go over, click it, and then because I'm in the Arbor Stone, I can just walk around the corner here. This, this is one of the advantages of Arbor Stone. I can just walk around the corner and to the Black Lion Trader, pick it up, bring it back. Bam! Bob's your uncle. Here we are. We're, we're making it. The mark of the unnamed exotic is being made. This is our first precursor. Now it's there. Da -da. And now we can preview it. And we can look at it, and it looks like a big hunk of rock. And it, it's just like, basically you just hit somebody over the head with a rock. But it's a focus, so I guess you just really concentrate on that piece of rock in your hand. Crazy. Anyway, go back to Hobbs. Hobbs, show us your wares. We're going to go back to that tab number five, and we're going to look for the next legendary um, precursor that's been unlocked under the previous one. And this one's called the True Name. And this one is really cheap. It just costs you some Carmen and some other crap. So it's, it's no, no, no biggie here. So, take that. Ta-da! Now we are in the know. The, the knowledge has suffused through us. We are, we are absolutely amazing. Okay, so type in the true name. And there's, there it is right there. It's the exotic second, second uh, precursor. Okay, it's also going to need sheets of rough paper, so we're going to have to go back for that. But here, let's make another ancient focus casing. And we're going to have to go make another ancient focus core. And they're oiled, so you need more flax and, and stuff. All right, so anyway, I'm going to buy these at the trading post, too. I have one already, so I'm just going to buy 12, because so I, I needed 13. Let's go pick it up. Do to do Beetle makes that quick. All right, we're going to make it. And there it is. Ta-da! We are done. I have no more sheets of rough paper, but that's okay. <laughs> and let's see what it looks like. Let's see what this one looks like. It looks like... Two pieces of stone now bound together with twine. Twine, the ancient world's duct tape. And, and when in doubt, duck it. Put it together. Slap them together. There it is. Ta-da. Okay. Go back to Mr. Hobbs again. We're going to go back to Tier 5. And now we should have unlocked the third, the final precursor. All right? It's, there it is. It's cheap, cheap, cheap. Only the first one costs any real amount. Okay? So, click on it. Bam! We are now in, full of knowledge. Okay, go back to our lathe. And then, I'm going to type in that, that, that precursor's name. And there it is under Legendary Component. So, we're going to have to make another, uh, this time a Spirit Wood focus case. We're going to have to use some of those high-level mats, Spirit Wood. Always keep some of those on hand. Always keep a good, good stack of 10 or something on, on hand. I got a little less than I should have right now. But anyway, I'm um, going to use that to make those two pieces. Then we need to make the visionary inscription, which needs a legendary inscription. So we're going to have to make or a cow completed dowel. So we make one of those. Then we go back out, and then we make this legendary inscription, which is also going to use Elonian leather squares. Also a good idea to keep a lot of those on hand. They always are useful. 
okay? Take your extra leathers and make some, just to have on supply. Then we make our visionary uh, inscription, and it's gonna take vision crystals, those are, yeah. <laughs> Those are a little bit uh, high tier too. Okay, so anyway, we've got all the parts we need. All the parts are there. We're going to put them in motion. Here we are. We're crafting it. It's the final thing. ta -da. I, like I like it too. There we go. Okay, now let's go see what it looks like. It looks like a scroll with uh, with some words on it. So basically we've taken the tablet and we've transcribed it onto, a, onto an easier use like toilet paper roll here. All we needed really was a monk. I don't know why we didn't use that. Anyway, <laughs> so here, back on the wiki, we finished uh, the the precursor, and here we are. And it wants us to do a gift of Maguma mastery. Now you can do that. You can do all these items here, but you could also do the gift of desert mastery. And I made a guide for the gift of desert mastery a while back, and I'll put a link for it below. And basically, what it is is uh, just getting stuff from the Path of Fire maps instead of the Heart of Thorns maps. So it's, um, it's pretty useful. You can use it on most of the Gen 2 legendary weapons, you can see here. Um, but yeah, I'll post a link for that. I'm not going to describe that again. We'll just, we'll just go. I'll post a link for that. Anyway, we also have done our Mystic Tribute. We've done our Gift of Desert Mastery. We've done uh, the Precursor. And now we need the Gift of Epos, okay? So what do we still need? We, still, we have our 100 Shards of the Dark Arts already made because we made them all at once. But we also need our 100 Mystic Rune Stones, our Gift of Energy, and our Gift of the Mists, okay? So, let's make our Gift of Energy first, okay? First, I had to go back to the trading post and buy some more Tier 5 dust, but here we are. Okay, bam. Now we go back to the Mystic Forge Attendant, and we're going to go look at our... Uh, we're going to look for the Mystic Rune Stones. There we go. And then we need to type beside it 100 because we're going to buy 100. It's going to cost us 100 gold. Okay? We're buying it. It's now ours. That, that hurts, but it had to be done. Okay. Now, Gifts of Glory and Gifts of War. We need those two. I already had a Gift of Glory, but I needed to go buy from the Trading Post the Memories of Battle for the Gift of War. You can buy both of those currencies on the Trading Post to, buy, to get those. Okay. Bring it back. Here we are. We're going to do some final forging here. We've got... Uh, We've got our gift of glory, our gift of battle, our gift of war, and our cube of stabilized dark energy. And we're going to put them in the forge, and it's going to give us the gift of the mists. Ta-da! All right. Now, now that we've got that little delight out of the way, we can go gift of the mists, we can go 100 mystic runestones, we can go 100 shards of the dark arts, and we can go our gift of energy and put them together and forge them together. And ta-da! The gift of epos. And now is the moment of truth. So now we have come to the final, the final forging. Here we are. We've got our mystic tribute. We've got our gift of epos. We've got our gift of desert mastery. And we've got Ars Grosha, the precursor. The weapon is used to craft the legendary focus, the binding of epos. Well, here, let's, let's do that crafting right now. Bing, bing. Bing, and yes, Bing. And Forge. Ta-da! Ooh, skin unlock, the Binding of Epos. The Binding of Epos is as mystifying as it is venomous, dripping with ancient knowledge. Any warrior brave enough to carry this tome will be gifted with millennia of sinister magics. Dun, dun, dun. Items locked in your legendary armory are available for all of your characters. They can be found in the equipment tab of your hero panel alongside all of your other equipment. Dun, dun, dun. And so now, we'll test it out on some characters.
I'm ready to roll. The Binding of Epos. <laughs> 